morning welcome to nifty prediction uh, before going to the wednesday market i would like to review the tuesday's prediction as well as the <clears throat> how the market has went nifty ended up in the flat positive 13567.85 9.70 points in the positive, 0.07% in the positive, opened around 13,547.20, low went around 13,447.05, high went around 13,589.65. Let's go to my prediction review. Uh, whoever saw my video on uh, about uh, Tuesday's prediction, they would have made some good money because it has exactly happened the same as predicted as per the pre-opening and the opening was around 13,547.20 and in our prediction it is inside the volatile zone you can check exactly it is in between the volatile zone so which means on the market has opened 13,547.20 which is exactly inside the volatile zone so 47.20 which is came almost in the flat but one key point is that I have mentioned specifically uh, about the par value anything opens below the par value if anything opens above the par value it is any any positive anything below the par value the pre-open was around more than nine points so which is more than seven points which is indicated the negative so that is what the market has fall down almost 100 points from the pre-opening see exactly it is fall down but as said in the video if it is not breaking the negative average the market having chances to recover and ended up in the flat that is what exactly happened the market has recovered from the low the low is 13,447.05 which is not broken the negative average 13,437 is 13,447 so it is not broken that negative average so it has recovered you can check my past video if anyone would have saw that they would have uh, gone by with the stop loss of set level and it would have recovered from that and it has closed in the flat positive let's go to the prediction for Wednesday before going to that i would like to tell, uh, tell you we have the advantage of uh, uh, prediction details uh, so we took that uh, 22nd itself those prediction details so 16th uh, we got the prediction of uh, high is around 6.98 and the lower side which is 1.91 1 so let's take how we got those so 16th data will take exactly exactly 6.98 on the positive side 1.91 on the negative side so we know that well in advance that is the advantage we have how we need to trade on these these so um, first we need to check out the indications all indications showing positive so which means it is a positive day but the pre-open needs to support if the pre-open is supporting we might see a good positive uh, finish but at the same time if it is matching with the high then it might after reaching the target it might fall but it is a bullish day as far as it is concerned but what we need to watch out is 
how the pre market needs to open so we check the par value so par value clearly indicating that uh, it is huge gap we have so uh, it might fall down even if it is opens in the positive that is what it is indicating but because the par value is anything opens uh, 420.26 points above then only it will go and stay in the positive so other than that it might have chances to fall down towards negative it might not ended up in the negative but it, it is indicating that it has a chance to go down so we need to play much more cautiously even though if the market is opens in the positive so that is the one indication as well another indication which it is clearly indicating uh, the volatile level 2 which came inside the positive so whenever we get those kind of indications uh, it has to come the normally volatile level to uh, normally comes in the negative side but this day it is came in the positive direction which means after a positive opening if it is not breaking those key levels if it is matching the high it might fall down towards to negative that is what indicate indicating so how much negative it has to fall or it might go to the extreme level we may not know at this point of time but we can <clears throat> play cautiously with the stop loss to be maintained if things goes wrong or if it is reaching the high and matching those levels how we need to trade on this the first indication is the pre-opening where the pre-opening is going to be if anything opens above the volatile level one then it is indication indicating the positive might be a, a strong positive anything less than that less than uh, 105.83 which indicating that the market might have chances to fall down after reaching certain level uh, it might be matching with the frequency average it might be matching with positive average so all we need to watch out uh, the levels it might need it might not break this volatile level one average as well 13,673 also might not break so after reaching certain level that particular level it might having chances to fall down towards negative so those are all the indications so we need to watch out where it is going to open if it is opens above volatile level one and above then we can go with the stop loss of overall average which is 13,613 I am including the stop loss because 10 points stop loss we need to sub uh, minus from that level so 0.348 is the stop loss we need to maintain so round off we can take it as 4.45 so if anything opens above the volatile level one which is 13,006 73.68 and above if it is opening you need to keep stop loss in this particular level and go for a buy um, why because uh, we know that it it has a chance to fall but still someone is very much bullish on the market but still they want to survive with the stop loss this is the stop loss they need to maintain because uh, it, it is showing that it might have chances to fall down but if this, this particular stop loss is not getting it it might have chances to go up and up like uh, positive average and then bullish open target level and bullish level so 170 192 26 like that it has chance to go on the other hand if the market is opens in between the volatile level 2 and the volatile level 1 then it is indicating the volatile market what it, it is indicating that it might have chances to go and break the levels according to that it might go bullish or bearish for example the market may open anywhere in between these two levels of volatile level 1 and volatile level 2 in between if it is opens all we need to watch out is that whether it is going to break the volatile level 1 13,673.68 or not or 13,571.92 according to that if it is breaking then it it might go bearish or bullish so all we need to watch out those two levels breaking or not if it is opens in between the market but we clearly show it is a bullish market but this one particular indication is telling that we need to play cautious so if it is opens in between you need to keep both options in hand that is advisable for example 2020 in the options if you are betting uh, that is uh, a good bet because if anything goes bearish one particular 20 will go 
40 to 50 60 or 80 even 100 if it is goes bullish the call option will go from 20 to 40 50 or 100 so that is the way we need to do on the other end if anything opens below the volatile level which is less than four points positive indicating the bearish market with a stop loss of overall average 13,633 adding 10 points 0.48 so whenever uh, you are going for the sell you need to add 10 points from the set level if you are going for a buy uh, subtracting 10 points from the set level that is the way it is so it is as simple as that you need to trade and uh, as we know if this positive average and negative average is not able to break then the market having chances to recover or the it might have chances to fall down if it is breaking then it will go further bearish or bullish so that is the way it is working so it is depends on purely how the market is going to open so here is the uh, refresh uh, as per the sg nifty right now it is in the positive around 75 points so which is in the range of somewhere uh, near pivot level so it is going to open the positive range but whether it is going to break the volatile level or not according to that it might have chances to fall down if it is breaking it might go to the frequency average or positive average if those two levels are not able to break it might have chances to fall down as well so we need to play cautiously keeping small put option in an alvo always helps as like 10 rupees if after the market opening yeah. keep one small even if you are bullish but still keep one small put option 10 rupees uh, which is vital for if anything goes wrong and market fall downs heavily because this particular indication is, is showing like that so it will protect your uh, losses if it is falling down from any certain level and might go heavily on the negative side means it might go from 10 to even 100 or 200 so that kind of uh, indication is it is having it is not necessary to go extremely bearish but it has potential to go that is the reason small 10 rupees put option is vital to have in hand because even if this goes loss it's not going to hurt you badly so let's play cautiously let's see how the market is going to give us on um, Wednesday because if it is goes down from this particular indication power value is for 20.26 anything less than the market is having chances to go down so minus 4.150 even 300 is also possible it is showing so that is the reason we need to keep at least one put option in that let's see how the market is going to give us on Wednesday thank you